Hello everyone, this video series covers the whole CISSP in 30 days. So in this very first video of this series, you will see a brief overview of the CISSP exam and the platforms you need in the preparation of CISSP exam. So let's talk about the platform first. To prepare for the CISSP exam, you require access of two platforms. And the good thing is both these platforms are free to use. First platform is the Google Classroom. You can join the free CISSP Google Classroom with class code E5 d2 k n a it's quite simple to join this cissp class first step is to login in google classroom with your gmail id then click on the join class icon and enter the class code e5 d2 k n a and that's it you got the access of the class now in this cissp google classroom you will get the whole content which you are watching in this video series and some more content such as video links notes questions mind map for further practice the second platform is the quizlet this platform helps you to revise fast and also helps improve your retention power. Just as an advice, no need to purchase a pro account on Quizlet, as without that also, you can access the study sets. The Quizlet pro account is more for the teachers, so no need to take the pro. To join the class on Quizlet is also simple. Just create a free account on Quizlet and click on the Quizlet link given in the description. Same link is also given in the Google Classroom, so you can access it from there also. Once you click on the link, you will get the access of all CISSP study sets created by me. Quizlet platform has multiple tools to study. My favorite Quizlet tools are flashcard, match, and the section below the flashcard, which is similar as notes. Or you can also make your own selection out of the seven available tools on Quizlet. Once you have the access of both these platforms, you need to make a study flow. The flow I'm going to use is topic, terms, mind map, topic content, and practice questions. To understand the benefit of this study flow, we need to understand more about the CISSP domains. As per CBK, the eight domains are further divided in topics. So in each video, we will take a topic. In total, there are 63 topics in the eight domains of CISSP. And as in the CISSP exam, we can have in between 100 to 120 questions. So we can say that the exam will have two questions from each topic. So covering each topic is very important. In this video series, our target will be to cover two to three topics in a day, and it will be at max roughly two to three study time in a day. So I request you to devote two to three hours on daily basis for this preparation. In the study flow, before starting any topic, I will cover the important terms of that topic. Then to have a better picture of the whole topic, we will see the mind map of the related domain and topic. Then we will discuss about the topic. And in the last, we will check out different types of questions related to that particular topic. I also suggest you to practice questions of the topic using the Google Classroom. Now let's discuss the eight domains of CISSP. Eight domains of CISSP as per the CBK are Domain 1 covers security and risk management, which is having a weightage of 15%. Domain 2 with a weightage of 10% covers asset security. Domain 3 with a weightage of 13% covers security, architecture and engineering. Domain 4 is communication and network security with a weightage of 14%. Domain 5 is identity and access management with a weightage of 13%. Domain 6 is security assessment and testing with a weightage of 12%. Uh, domain 7 is security operation with a weightage of 13%. And the final domain, domain 8, covers software development security with a weightage of 10%. Our target is to cover all these 8 domains in 30 days. So we can say that we will cover 2 domains every week. This video series with the free Google Classroom helps you to prepare for the CISSP exam in 30 days. And as an advice, I recommend another dedicated 10 days for the exam practice just after this video series. And then you are ready for the final exam with full confidence. With all this, you should also have confidence in yourself to clear this exam. You should also need to understand the mistakes people do while preparing for CISSP. Some of the common mistakes are to cover whole CISSP in one go. As big things require time, so does CISSP preparation. It requires your dedication and time. Second mistake people do is, they only learn and never practice what they have learned. This exam wants you to know the eight domains from in and out. So remember to learn, revise and practice what you have learned. The best way to practice is to do practice questions once you finish any particular topic and keeps on moving topic by topic. Also, relating the concept which you have learned in this with your daily working 
activities can help you to understand the topics more. So join the free CISSP class on Google Classroom now and watch this video series and make yourself ready to achieve the CISSP certification. All the best. Also remember, learn, revise and practice.